this is my friend Shane. As you can see here, he has AGS in Zarpus. If he had the inventory setups plugged in, he probably wouldn't have an AGS in his hand and instead of BGS. Don't be like Shane guys. Before I get into this video, if you ever want to look at what new plugins came out or you want to view recently updated ones, check out the plugin hub page for Runelight. It's how I found out about some of the plugins or changes you're about to see today. Plugin presets by Antero111 got a major update, now making it much easier to adjust and create new plugin presets, allowing you to update individual plugins instead of the whole preset. Also, you can swap between presets with a hotkey too. If someone also wants your preset, you can also export it too. Hotkeyable swaps by Gehur was upgraded to custom swaps, which is probably one of the strongest plugins known to man. It allows you to customize not only your left click swap, but your shift click swap too. Just to name some niche case yet overpowered uses, you can have or prioritize NPCs that are usually stacked on one another, like a Nilo, or even swap the walk here option for NPCs you don't want to left click on. You can already do this via the menu swappers in a base rune light, but this makes it easier to turn it on or off, on a whim via presets, or just manually changing in the plugin. You can reorder potions dropped by NPCs and chambers, and also have it prioritize some actions, like using seeds on a patch over using it on a player in chambers too. Theater of Blood Stats by HSJ also got adjusted to better print out splits such as Nyla Wave Splits at top, and other data such as how much the Maiden might have healed. Nilo Death Indicators by Inferno Stats is a party integrated plugin that hides Nylas before your projectile reaches them based on your XP drops. You just need to make sure that you're in a party. However, with Chins or Barrage, it will not work nor track the damage dealt to those Nylos. Outside of that though, it also hides those Nylos for other members of the party, which is huge for lowering the amount of doubling up on Nylos that tends to occur sometimes, which will improve your Nylo time. This plugin is a game changer and highly recommended for anyone wanting to do max F top. Better NPC Indicators by Boochoos is an improved NPC indicator with more customizability. You can highlight NPC IDs which allows you to highlight gauntlet tornadoes or specific NPCs without highlighting other ones, for example, low combat level dark warriors, and you can also choose what NPCs you want to have specific highlights for. For example, maybe you want to have the true towel or the southwest towel just for this NPC. Also, there's a death exclusion list for dead NPCs whose tiles you might not want to hide while hiding the tiles of other dead NPCs, useful for blobs in the Inferno. Cox Analytics by Boochoos adds some nice and fancy phase timers for home, at least for the mage hand duration, and gives you specific info regarding your points per hour at chambers. Fight Cave Spawn Predictor by Damon is a super strong plugin which tells you where NPCs will spawn for the next wave in Fight Caves, as well as what spawn rotation you'll enter on or what's the next rotation. Really powerful for those wanting to do fast Fight Cave runs without needing to memorize the rotation as much, although muscle memory and memorization will still help. Default Tab by Damon is a useful plugin for activities you relog a lot for, allowing you to decide what tab you'll be on by default on relogs or logins. In this next section, we will be talking about three plugins. Skybox plugin, which is built in, Low Detail, which is also built in, and last but not least, Ground Object Hider by Leo288. Low Detail with hiding lower planes removes the ground at a nightmare, while Ground Object Hider can hide the bloat floor, which lets you replace the ground with Skybox plugin colors. This can really help with the visibility of bloat hands and nightmare hands. And that's it for the video. I know this one isn't as long as the last one, but I hope to have at least previewed some really useful plugins you might not have been aware of. As always, if you want to see more videos such as this, let me know in the comments or throw a like on the video. And if you want to see more of my content, feel free to drop a subscribe.